I don't care how well you hit, but you've got to take it back, get that club, get that light right arm to fold, and then just throw it through. Right down the middle. It's all right, but it's, it's not too bad. The aim is good, just a little hard. Very nice, right down the middle. Next to the hole. What? All about that controlling the backswing. That's what it's all about now. Control the backswing. Good stroke. Very nice. For the keys, you've got to feel this right arm. See how I'm doing this drill back up and down, up and down, up and down? Yeah. You've got to feel that up. Get those hands up above your right shoulder. Well, you're gonna be in the dirt, I think, but you, I like that's your best one to, that you've hit so far. See, I like how you, you did not go back with your, with your, you didn't think it that far back. I don't you think it's very far back. No, but your hips moved right. Yeah, I'm, but I'm loaded right here. I don't take it much further than right here. My hands are about even with my shoulders, but, but I've really loaded this. And you had a good hip movement. But my right elbow was here. Not here. Right. It's tucked under. Yeah, there you go. Hey, Celine, we're going to compare our two swings. I want to do mine on the right first. My left arm is parallel to the ground. That's called the three position. And we're going to see this left arm here and the shaft here. And this here is my right arm. Take you back. So your, your left arm is here. And you have a nice angle here, but your right arm is above the left arm here. As I continue up, there's the top of my swing. I'm going to draw a circle around my right hand and right elbow. The line between those two is down. My right hand is above my right elbow, quite a bit above. You're at the end of your back swing. This is your right hand and this is your right elbow. And so you do not tuck that right elbow down. You don't get it underneath you. This position right here, you've got to be able to see this. That's the tip of my elbow right there. And if we look underneath your left arm, I don't see the tip of your elbow. It's, it's pulled up high. But as I come through, as I start down, I can still see that elbow. Right now, my club is parallel to the ground, and my right elbow is tucked into my side. I'm going to take you down until your club is parallel to the ground. And you can see how your elbow is just is flying out away from your body. You can see how I have pushed this left hip in that direction. I'm actually leaning back a little bit here. And you're, you're on top of it this way. So that's that's going to be the thing that we work on and continue to work on is get into that good position with that right arm. It's all about that right arm, but it's also, as I'm looking at it, getting the spine angle, getting your, your hip here to move this way underneath the sternum. Then as I hit the ball, I have a nice extension in both arms. You can see how your elbows are bent. You don't have that extension. So those, those are the things that we're going to work on, is getting that, those arms straight through impact.
now we're going to look at our iron play. We're both hitting about a 7 iron, I believe. One of the things I want to focus on a little bit here is weight shift. So I'm going to draw an arrow off my left foot, off your left foot. And you'll notice as I turn, that red arrow is still on my left hip. And we take you back. Moved away a little bit. The other thing that we're going to look at here, I'm going to clear that. I want us to pay attention to this foot here. You can see how your foot moves in your backswing, how you lift it up in the air. So you put a lot more weight on your back leg in your backswing. You've shifted too much to the right, which allows you to lift your foot up. Whereas I have an angle here through my ankle and knee that's leaning to the target. And your angle is going to the right. So you have to stay on the, you have to be leaning into that left side. If I drew an angle from my right knee to right hip, it's going this way. And yours is going more this way. So I need you to feel like your lower body is leaning more to the right so that you're actually putting that, you're pushing the ground with your left foot. You're not lifting your left foot up. You're almost pushing I want you to be leaning into that left foot. And as I come down and make contact, I've got the extension again. I've got these angles here going towards the target. And again, your, your elbows and arms are bent. You're not, uh, you're flat footed on your back foot. When you get to this position, this right arm is bent. You can see how my right arm is fully extended and only the edge of my shoe of the back foot is on the ground. This was an awesome shot. This was your 8 iron. Even though I don't take it back very far, my right hand is above. Look how far above it is from his right elbow. Your right hand never gets above the elbow. Let me see. You're like this, and I'm like this. Because it's the hinging? There. Now your right hand is above the elbow. That's the hinging. Yeah, there we go. And then with, you have a shoulder turn with that. So hinge those wrists so you can unhinge it at the ball. Snap into it. Like your hammer. It's not just this, you've got to turn. You've got to turn off. Make sure you're turning your hips. Turn those hips. Okay, Celine, now we're looking down the line with the driver. On the left was one of your practice swings when I was talking to you about trying to get the right hand above the right elbow. And you demonstrated a very good representation of what I was looking for as you came back. I've talked about this triangle that you want to have in those two forearms. There's the two elbows and the triangle there. And that's the position you want to get into and you had gotten into it on that one practice swing. And so on the right is your ball swing after doing that rehearsal. So this is as far back as you've got it and you can, and we don't see this right hand. Right now this left arm, I'm gonna clear that. Your left arm, here's your shoulder line and here's your left arm, almost on the same shoulder line. But on your ball swing, here's your shoulder line, and here's your arm. So you're not getting that left arm up there across your chest like you do there. And if you were to do that, if your left hand would get to here, then that would obviously carry your right hand higher also. So maybe what we need to focus on more is, is what to do with your left hand instead of the right hand. I need to focus on getting your left arm up there on your shoulder line. So we're going to take a little bit different approach to get your hands in the right place. Instead of trying to get your hands in the right place 
by focusing on how you move your right hand. We're going to try to get your hand in the right place by focusing on your left hand and left arm, getting up there on that shoulder line. So here I am in the back swing, and you can see how my right elbow is pointing straight down to the ground, but my right hand is above my right elbow, and your elbow is behind you. Then as I come down into this position, I am pulling this club down into the ball. Here's the club head, and here's my elbow. And as you come down, and as you come down, your club is not being pulled to the ball. It's just pulling straight down. So when I'm in this position here, if I were to draw a circle around my club head and my hands, I'm going to pull my hands. So I'm going to pull that shaft with my hands to throw that club head out to the golf ball. And I can do that because my hands are between the golf ball and the club head and my hands are in between the two and I'm able to pull the club head and throw it into that golf ball. Here's your golf ball, here's your hands, and here's your club. And so you do not have your, if we could get the, that club head behind you, then you could pull the club to the ball. It's not bad, that's a tough read. Take your time. You're not taking your time. Take your time and think about the tempo. Think about being relaxed. Make it a conscious thought to be to be relaxed. Not no strain. Take all the strain out of your face. Just be relaxed like that all the time. Don't get just set up for the ball and swing without thinking about what you need to think about. And you need to think about being relaxed. It needs to be a conscious thought for you right now. All those are better. So your swing thought isn't so much now about what your right arm is doing. It's about your, your emotional level being calm. Very nice. Now don't rush it. When you miss one, don't just throw another one out there. You've got to really think about it. Make sure your space is perfect. That may be the best you've hit of all of them. Look at those all clustered there. Very nice. That actually will play well. Very nice. Almost pin high. Okay, you pulled that a little bit, but you, I like the contact. Okay. Had a nice little pop to it. That could be a good one right there. Run hard now. Run hard. On the green. Very nice. The key is hit the sand and finish high. Can't do better than that. Look at that. Very nice. Hurry. Perfect. 
Right down the middle. Zero shot. Wow, that's only green. I know it. 